The New Mexico Department of Cultural Affairs invites you to rediscover the Coronado Historic Site, celebrating 75 years of historic preservation along the banks of the Rio Grande. We're very excited. Uh, just two weeks ago, uh, Highlands University students uh, involved with the digital arts program, media arts, came down and installed brand new panels, brand new artifacts uh, were brought in that tell more of the story of Koala. So we're very excited with a brand new upgrade of all the exhibits in our museum. So as the visitor moves through the museum, um, we've always done a very good job uh, here at Coronado, the ancient village of Kawawa, telling the story of Pueblo lifeways in the Southwest. So what we've done in, in, with this um, exhibit upgrade is actually begin to tell more of the story of the village of Kawawa. And as I stand in front of this exhibit, what I see are artifacts actually uh, uncovered here at Kuala during the 1930s archaeological dig, which in fact was funded mostly through New Deal money with the Works Progress Administration program. So the artifacts that we see here from bone and uh, stone tools, as well as uh, some wood uh, ra rabbit stick fragments, uh, these are all our story. And so the visitor coming through is not only wowed by our story, but the new stunning colors that have been brought forth. So we're walking up to one of the more exciting exhibits here at Coronado, one of my favorites. Uh, as you begin to realize the life ways of the Pueblo people and begin to look at how people lived at Kuala, the excitement and the vibrancy of this particular exhibit case begins to show how not only were you living here at this village, but you were also part of a bigger world. And the world starts to show up in trade items. So as we're looking at this case, you're seeing macaw feathers that must have been traded up from down south. You're seeing shells that must have been associated with some saltwater region, whether it came over from California or up from the, the Gulf Coast of Mexico. So where we are now uh, inside the museum is an area that's going to start telling the story of the coming of the European into this region, namely the Coronado and Trotto. And this is another exciting uh, s spot in the museum because it allows a lot more interactive for the visitor. Around me you're going to see all the different artifacts, and these are re uh, reproductions, but these are the kind of weaponry that would have been carried not only by Coronado and the explorers within his expedition, but also the Aztec warriors and the Aztec um, native culture that came and supported the expedition. So this is our area where you can come, try on the armor, try on the helmet, uh, handle a, a replica crossbow, and actually feel like the weight of the metal that was being seen by the Pueblo world for the first time in this region. It was in 1986 when they were widening State Road 528 that the grading activity began to uncover black uh, markings on the ground. And through further excavation and through calling in the archaeologists to see what we had, what we were beginning to see was early campsites and these campsites were strategically placed outside of a village that we today called Santiago. And it was during these excavations that we began to uncover artifacts, metal artifacts, as well as pottery sherds that were native and also from Europe as well. And it was through these artifacts that we could tell the date. And we do date and we have on display artifacts that show not only nails, but metal fragments, and we can date them to a 16th century campsite, Spanish expeditionary campsite, right here along the Rio Grande. For more information on the 75th anniversary celebration and the all-new features of Coronado Historic Site, head over to casa.com.